What will Hybrid Kaido's moveset look like? So first off the Gear 5 moveset video, we're going to be taking a look at Hybrid Kaido, which first appeared in the manga in Chapter 1008. Now Kaido slash Hybrid Kaido to me is very interesting because when Pirate Warriors 4 came out, it was right around the time the Soba Mask episode came out. And up until then, I believe we've only seen the Thunder Bagua when it comes to Kaido and not really anything else. And of course, I think the Blast Breath. But aside from that, Kaido's moveset, which you can look right here in the screen, he really didn't have much to go off of. It was really just, you know, very Oonga Boonga, very club heavy, very like just, you know, I hit things very hard type of moveset. And obviously some Conqueror's Hockey type of stuff, like with the yelling and all that. But Kaido's moveset was quote unquote bare bones for what we now know in terms of like what he can do. So according to the data mines, it's hybrid Kaido. So it's not going to be Kaido that can transform into hybrid Kaido. It's going to be just a raw hybrid Kaido form. So I'm thinking that we might get hybrid Kaido that can have a form change into dragon because even the dragon form of Kaido has a lot more stuff to work with. So they can't add more to Kaido in general. After taking a look at about 40 plus chapters of One Piece to get examples of what I think they could use to, you know, make hybrid Kaido's moveset a lot more interesting and a lot more diverse than, you know, the original Kaido is. Because even the original Kaido in the base game is super strong and super overpowered, as you can see in the background. Like with the Luffy video, I'm going to be breaking this video into two halves. The first half being the hybrid Kaido form and the second half being a potential dragon form or even a drunk form which i'll get into in a second but yeah hybrid kaido has a lot of potential so the first thing i want to talk about is the what type of character he's going to be first thing i want to get out the way obviously i don't think he's going to be a technique type i do think he's going to be one of two types now i know the obvious answer is power type because every yonko in the game i believe is a power type like shanks whitebeard big mom and i believe even blackbeard are all power types however I could see them maybe making him a speed type. Now it would be crazy for a giant character to be a speed type, but I know that one's a little bit stretching it, but the reasoning for that is when he's in hybrid form, I feel like he moves so much faster. There is even a moment, this is really the dragon form, but when he's drunk, Luffy's hitting him with the snake man Hydra. And then Kaido was able to do the drunken thief move and just like literally zip past all of that. Not only that, while he's fighting Gear 5 Luffy, Luffy's about to strike Kaido with a lightning bolt that he grabbed, and Kaido just dodges it. So not only does he dodge lightning, he also speed blitz Zoro and Law with a Thunder Bagua, and he also just dodges and hits Luffy, even though Luffy's going at his probably his max power, max speed, and he's still able to keep up with Gear 5, Gear 4, all of that type of stuff. So I could see them making hybrid Kaido a speed type because of that, which again would be interesting because I don't think there's another giant character in the game that is a speed type. So yeah, those are my thoughts on what type he could be. I mean, the way the anime portrays the fight versus him versus Luffy is, you know, basically almost like a Dragon Ball fight. So he could even be a sky type for all we know. But I do think it would be interesting to make him a different type of character because having a, a unique, you know, type of character would be pretty cool, even though... You know, obviously the most of those things influence is probably just like your movement and mobility and your, obviously your air combo game. Okay, now for the fun part. Let's get into what Kaido's combo game can potentially look like. Now, obviously we can't do this without looking at the original Kaido, which you guys are seeing in the background. The original Kaido's moveset was very bare bones. Like I said, it was very kind of unga boonga, very slow, but obviously he is one of the best like characters in the game in terms of just raw powered aoe potential like i cleared this stage which is the true pirate warrior stage with like not even breaking a sweat because of how powerful and how easily he can break guard so i do think they're gonna probably keep that damage potential but i do hope in his combo game that they do a lot of the more conquerors hockey infusion type of thing because because at this point in the story when he's fighting luffy he's not hiding like what he can do especially when luffy learns about conquerors infusion Kaido's abilities and stuff with like the lightning and all that stuff it would be really visually cool to see I also do think like his combo potential because the one thing that I did notice a lot is that you really just swing Kaido's club around in the original but now you can actually do a combo and have it be something like the Kundali Dragon Swarm which I don't think could be an ultimate but I think this could probably be just part of a like flurry attack that he can do mid combo and we all know Kaido's favorite move, the Thunder Bagua. Now that can have 
a place in being a special and being part of the normal moveset because there are different versions of the Thunder Bagua that he does. There's like the normal version. There's also the version where like he speed blitz, double tap Law and Zoro. You also have the destroyer of like death or whatever it's called, like Thunder Bagua. You also have the Thunder Bagua he hit Yamato with. So there's a bunch of versions of the Thunder Bagua and obviously you have the original version that the base Kaido has. So what they could do is implement Thunder Bagua into his base moveset again. Much like how I said with Luffy, how they can implement gear 4 attacks into his base moveset. Like how they did with the base Luffy implementing gear 3 and 2 attacks into there. We also have the hybrid form version of the Blast Breath, which is like obviously a mouth laser, which could be a special attack as well. And we also have all the Conqueror's hockey moments that he had with Luffy where they clash, like the headbutts and the, you know, the club attacks. Again, I do think that they're going to be focusing on the Conqueror's hockey element in Kaido, which he did have in his original form, which is he had a lot of like those moves where he yelled like the woo doo 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 and like he would just yell. And like you would see like the lightning come out and it would like break guard and all that stuff. So they did have that in his original kit, but I think they're going to probably further improve upon that and have him have some crazy things where like again much like luffy where he's not even touching the enemies or areas and he'll just be blowing shit away before we wrap up the combo discussion i do want to think about a potential unique thing that this kaido can have and that is maybe a drink type of install because a big part of the kaido versus luffy fight was when kaido took us you know took a little break to drink and then he like drank and then he got super drunk and he has his multiple forms of his, you know, multiple emotions while he's drunk, like drunken rage, uh, tearful, like tears in his beer type of thing. Like there's a bunch of different things which didn't inhibit his combat ability at all. It just made it more interesting and more fun. So I think it would be cool if Kaido had like you press triangle and he takes a, you know, a sip of, of sake or whatever. I think it was like ogre, like sake or something like that. Just take a drink of that and then get him drunk and then all of a sudden he could even influence aesthetically because if he drinks he could have that like the way they color it in the anime like that kind of wild purplish like look that he gets like kind of this kind of insane looking like a devilish look that he gets when like he's in this form and i, I never understood this form whether it's like a more pure form of his hybrid form like he's like leaning more towards the dragon form but then again, his dragon form is more like teal, like his original like hybrid form. So I don't know what this form is, but I think it's probably tied to the him being drunk. So I do think this would be a really cool aesthetic change that could happen. Because when he's in this form, his change his moves do change a little bit, and like he gets like Thunder Bell of Bagua and stuff like that. He's a little bit more wild, a little bit more intense. So this would be interesting, like the way Odin like activates hockey in his swords and that changes his moveset slightly. This could be like interesting in that sense. Or it could also be like an install. So to wrap up the combo talk, I do hope that Kaido's moveset is a little bit faster, a little bit more fun to use in terms of like, you know, combo potential, because I do hope we get air combos too. Now I get it, Kaido is a big boy. So having him do like air combos or air attacks would be really like crazy to see at least like with a camera because it, it already the camera already struggles enough with these giant characters but having Kaido do air combos which he doesn't have in his base form he just has a little hop like I guess a conquer hockey hop because you see like the the black and red lightning pop up and then you can just only really do like one hit in the air and then he just hops back down because he feels so heavy. So I do hope that this Kaido feels a little bit lighter. Like I said, maybe make him a speed type. I think making him a speed type would really help because he is really fast. And the fact that he keeps up with Luffy the whole time, like without like batting an eye, I think would be really, really cool and would help his moveset a lot. Now, it doesn't have to be a speed type to have air combos, but I do think it would help. So let's get into his special moves and what he could do because everything that I said could be in his combos can also be special moves because a lot of his like destructive capabilities like all of these attacks are very like impactful the way how hard they hit like they have a lot of oomph to them so all of them can really just be specials as well and especially because each character i feel like has you know eight to ten specials per like the, that you can cycle out of including form changes and all that so the first special that i that came to mind would be 
a version of the Conquest of the Sea. Now, I know this is a Big Mom and Kaido combined attack. I get it. But it came to my attention that there is an image of Gear 5 Luffy that shows like the form change and all that, but has an image of him doing the end of film red attack that he did in combination with shanks so that what that tells me is that just because they do it with another person doesn't mean it's off the table and since apparently we're not getting another big mom at least in this season in general and it's not like there's team up attacks anyway i'm thinking that we're gonna get the conquest of the sea because that was a very very impactful moment especially because zoro just barely got them out of it so I think that would be an insane special, probably one of the strongest ones and, and obviously have like massive range. Another special that I was thinking of was obviously the Ragnaraku or the Ragnarok, whatever, however what you want to say it. I think obviously this is one of his biggest or strongest versions of like, you know, club attacks aside from the Thunder Bagua. And like I was mentioning before, when it comes to like drunk Kaido or like this purplish devilish like hybrid form is that there is a version called the Lightning Hammered ragnaraku so whether that part is stronger or not then again it could be another special move that he can do the kundali dragon swarm as well can be a kind of gatling type of attack that he can do that's more geared towards like a short range but obviously has a flurry of attacks maybe less powerful then you have the destroyer of death thunder bagua again visually there's not much different with these thunder baguas because obviously they all kind of have the same kind of motion obviously i think it just depends on how much power and hockey he puts in it having this thunder bagua could mean that in the base like combo game i think he could have thunder bagua infused into there like the regular one and then when it comes to specials you'll have the destroyer of death thunder bagua or the thunder bellow bagua base kaido doesn't have conqueror's hockey as a special attack so i think this would be the perfect opportunity to finally add that especially because the biggest point of this fight when it comes to him versus Luffy is him and Luffy fighting with Conqueror's infused attacks. And obviously we know that he has Conqueror's hockey. So I think obviously giving him that special attack finally would be another super attack that he could have. Okay, so look, I know we have a dragon form already in the game, but I do think because of all the new moves that Kaido does in that dragon form, it does necessitate maybe him having the dragon change again. Now let's hop into the potential form change that this Kaido might have into his dragon form again. Now I get that Kaido originally in the game has a, you know, dragon change that has, you know, blast breath and all that stuff. But I believe most of that moveset was in like made from like from the game, from the developers. Because he has like ice attacks and lightning attacks and stuff like that. And not really much else obviously aside from him going crazy think there's one move where he like goes in, into like a circle and like makes it kind of like a tornado but aside from the blast breath i think and the lightning i think most of those attacks were just made for the game not to say that kaido doesn't have elemental capabilities which he does which is why i would like a dragon change because he does so much more in the dragon form in the rooftop than he ever did in the past which all we saw in the past which was the blast breath so much like Luffy and every other character that has a, you know, form change, they have one button that basically cancels their form change and three special attacks. Now, the three special attacks, I think one of them could be the Dragon Twister Demolition Breath, which is like the combination of him making like the like twisters along with making those wind, like giant wind sights. I do think the other one will probably be Blast Breath again, which would be kind of weird because obviously, you know, it's a, a it would be, probably be a reused animation, but... I feel like Blast Breath, they can either imp implement it into his, you know, base attack, or they can make it, you know, a special again. And then the last special, which to me is the biggest one, is probably going to be the Flame Bagua. Like I said with Luffy, I do think we're going to get the Bajran Gun and all that stuff, because by the time these characters come out, they probably will be at this point, unless there's an unforeseen break or a scheduled break that I'm not aware of. They both should be nearly done with the fight because when Luffy goes gear five, I believe that like the fight only lasts about five more chapters or four. So even with the slow pacing in the anime, that's still like, you know, four to six episodes. And the DLC, at least for Luffy, is supposed to come out in September. So we could see this flame dragon torch attack that goes into the flame Bagua, which is basically Kaido inside of a giant flame dragon. If you look at the image, you can see like, the inside of the flame dragon you can see kaido in it like his dragon form which is insane because just look at the scale 
of how big this thing is. Obviously, they'll probably have to scale it down for gameplay-wise, which is what they usually do. But honestly, this could look very, very insane for a special attack. So I do think we'll probably see and get this move. Now, combo-wise with the Dragon, I do think a lot of it is going to be very similar probably to the original. But they, I think they would implement stuff like the like the Wind Scythe that he launches. They might keep the Ice abilities. They obviously have the Lightning stuff around. They could incorporate the other times he does Blast Breath where it's not as, like, crazy strong or they could have the wind size be the special and incorporate blast breath more into his base attack kind of like how he does already in the original kaido where he has like that one combo string where he does like the blast breath on the floor and he kind of just like, follows you with it and does like you know chip damage or whatever so i do think dragon kaido will probably have a lot of similarities to his other dragon form which is not that an unexpected but i do think his special attacks and like moves that he does in the rooftop does necessitate at least to make an updated version of this dragon form or like i said if you don't want to have the dragon form just maybe have an install that gives them into this weird purple form that just really enhances his attack or have both because the original kaido has both he has like the awakening thing which just like you know i forget what's the full force i believe it's called and he just has like obviously enhancements to his base attacks and all that and then he also has the form change itself so they could implement both. So yeah, that's going to wrap up this discussion on what Kaido's moveset will potentially look like and what moves it could include from the manga slash anime. Obviously, like we discussed, his combos are probably going to be hopefully a little bit more faster than the original Kaido. And I do think having all these very insane special attacks would be really, really cool for the game. So let me know what you guys think about everything that we discussed in this video. What do you think Kaido's moveset is going to look like? And to stick around for the next one, which will probably be hybrid Yamato. Peace.